Well, I come from um, a Catholic Italian family, and um, there was a long, long line of um, alcoholism and mental illness in my family. And uh, my parents divorced when I was eight. There was um, some sexual abuse. Um, there was a lot of physical abuse, a lot of fighting. A lot of what happened with the sexual abuse, I became um, sexually promiscuous at a really young age because that was my way to deal with the fact that the abuse had stopped. I, I searched for a lot of that while I was, um, you know, in high school and drinking and um, experimenting with drugs. And, and it was I needed that acceptance from a man to be okay. I just felt this like enormous amount of pressure to be something that I didn't quite want to be. You know, trying to take my own life at a, a, a couple of points because I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with life anymore. Um, I had given up I, and there was no life left in me. I was just this bruised, battered, beaten down girl. I didn't know who I was. And so I left, I moved to LA and um, I started a relationship with somebody. We had been friends for quite some time. We had knew each other through 12-step, um, you know, program and, um, the relationship took off very quickly, and I ended up being pregnant with Brody, and then he moved in with my cousin and us for a few months. Not even 14 weeks into being pregnant, you know, he's, you know, strung out on heroin, and he left. It just so happened to work out to where I went to Arkansas with them, and then that's, um, I was there for a few months, and then that's how I ended up out here in Vegas. They got stationed out here at Nellis Air Force Base. And so this last time when I started coming to Central, and I just dove right in, you know, and, and my friend invited me here, and, you know, I raised my hand when Judd said that prayer, and, and I was just so excited, and I pulled that card out of the seat back in front of me, and I was like, I'm going all in. You know, this is Vegas. You know, I don't gamble, I'm going all in. And then I started showing up and I got baptized. And there's just been these like amazing, amazing series of events that has just occurred over the last 20 weeks that I just can't even begin to just describe and to, I mean, my heart is just filled with so much joy and, and to trust God in my life in a way that I have never been able to trust Him before. The truth is, is that I'm broken I'm in a, and I'm in this state of, you know, there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of anger, but the truth is, is that I don't have to hide behind it. When I come here, I want to be found out. I want to lay it all out. I want people to know my story. I don't have to be objectified as a woman anymore. Yeah, I just have this like huge heart of thankfulness for what Central's done in my life in such a short period of time and what it's done in my son's life, you know, and the fact that I, you know, I, he can come here and he can connect with other kids and, you know, just seeing how much these women and other people in the classrooms just love on him and, and how much some of these other women have, you know, just been loving on me and encouraging me and building me up. And this is a place where I can come, have tattoos, and to be this broken woman who is just trying to become and be me.